Hi there guys, today's video with Vinyl Cut, we'll be looking at the Knife 2. Let's just have a quick intro here. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. Uh, we have quite a variety of different software we do cover and also we upload videos daily. So just keep an eye there for any new content. Otherwise, back in the program here, we just hide this graphics. We add another apple to the library. If you're not sure how to locate your library, remember it's a little book with a star on top here. Okay, now let's say we've got our graphics. I'm just going to set the stroke or the stroke a bit bigger so we can nicely see what's happening. So to locate the knife, we'll be going to our left tool uh, bar here and then go to the knife tool. Just a reminder again, any icon that's got this little black arrow if you click and hold, it will show you the other options under that. So we've got a crop and a knife. So with the knife selected, now um, if we click and drag, you will see a little red line. I'm not sure if you can see it. You zoom in maybe. No, it's still not. But in any case, so then um, if you click and drag over this, there where the red line is, that's where it'll cut it. So once you've cut, you'll see now we, we lose color. And what has happened is it has opened the path. So the apple now is not doesn't have a closed path anymore. So if we go to our group here to the right, open there, we've got the two sides of the apple. So if we select the one layer and let's say we move it, now you can see the path is open here. That's why there's no more color. So um, sometimes you will want to do this in a design, a card design, let's say with a cutout, you'll on purposefully leave it open path so let's say um, you've got a butterfly and you cut out the wings but not the whole thing so then you can actually fold up the wings afterwards something in that line but now let's say we want to close this path then what you can do is select your layer then you right click let me zoom in for you guys and then we go to path and then you'll go down till you find close path and once you select that then now you'll see the path has been closed now we can do the same with the bottom half of the apple, go to path, closed path. Now you have two individual shapes, it's been cut out. This is quite handy if you only want to use a portion of a design. And uh, yeah, so otherwise that is the, the basics on the knife tool. Let's just quickly head to the website here. If you guys navigate to softwaretraining.co.za, you'll find uh, this video and more videos like it. As you guys can notice, we've got quite a variety of different software we cover. And also we have a search option if you're looking for anything specific. If uh, you still don't find what you're looking for, you can always go here to the top right and go request a training video and then we'll make that for you. Otherwise, thanks guys for watching and uh, cheers.